simply stated, there is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. There is no doubt that he is amassing them to use against our friends, against our allies, against our allies. If Iraq genuinely wanted to disarm, we would not have to be worrying about setting up means of looking for mobile biological units or any units of that kind they would be presented to us, to us. We would not need an extensive program to search for and look for underground facilities that we know exist. You said we're headed to war in Iraq. I don't know why you say that. I hope we're not headed to war in Iraq. I'm the person who gets to decide, not you. Every rock, go to every crossroad, peer into every cave for evidence, for proof. And we must not allow Iraq to shift the burden of proof on the inspectors. Nobody can threaten this country. Well, they may be able to bomb a building. I was sitting outside uh, the, the classroom waiting to go in, and I saw an airplane hit the tower of a, of a TV. You know, the TV was obviously on, and I, I used to fly myself, and I said, well, there's one terrible pilot. sovereignty and you're viewed as a sovereign entity and therefore the relationship between the federal government and <laughs> between sovereign entities if Iraq genuinely wanted to disarm we would not have to be worrying about setting up means of looking for mobile biological units or any units of that kind that would be presented to us, to us. We would not need an extensive program to search for and look Americans for took those dollars and attacked from the shadows. Inspectors should not have to look under every rock, go to every crossroad, peer into every cave or evidence for proof. And we must not allow Iraq to shift the burden of proof on the inspector's own. And we return to the failed bargain of Resolution 1284, which all the Courage and compassion has dignity and value in God's sight. Parents, schools, and government skilled and tireless. Courage and compassion evening. Before I take your questions, let me speak with the American people about the situation in Iraq. This has been tough weeks in that country. <laughs> you know, you, 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 yeah, I, I really, I, I, I'm very fact to make these requests seems to me to show that Iraq is still not cooperating. Inspectors should not have to look under every rock, go to every crossroad, peer into every cave. September 11th. We must not allow Iraq to shift the burden of proof on the inspector's door. And we return to the failed bargain of resolution 1284.
September 11th. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. September 11th. We have a great advantage. Courage and compassion. This vile display. To stay as an occupying power without regard for the will of the people. Search for it. Vice President Cheney, this great republic. We have no desire to dominate, the desire to live in freedom. Accurate national election. And that's not asking too much. Strong and growing stronger. Not to stay as an occupying power. It reveals a fanaticism has dignity and value in God's sights. Compassion for one another. Courage and compassion. And war is what they got. In truth. And the death of democracy. And it is right and false. Sacrifice and hold this hard won ground. And benefit our economy. There is no doubt.